Welcome to Splinterlands HQ. I am Walking Keys, and today we're talking about the five ways to earn crypto while playing Splinterlands. Let's go. Number one, playing in tournaments. All right, so you can go into Splinterlands, and there are tournaments that you can play in, and they have all different types of rule sets and uh, different entry levels and prizes. And so what you want to do is find uh, a tournament that fits your style. Maybe it's a novice, uh, and this one is no legendary cards can be used. And it, this event is for novice league level cap for summoners and monsters. Uh, it's only three DEC to enter, and you can win up to uh, or win your piece of 12 USD. So that's an easy way to get in. I mean, three DEC is not a lot. Uh, so there's tournaments for all different skill levels, and some of them for much higher. Only alphas can be used. Only guard golds can be used, and it's uh, silver or diamond cap. So pretty much anything and all goes, and that is a, that's a big tournament. And it's 50 SPS to get in, so that's about, right now, that's about $40, $45 or so, $42. And, uh, and you can win 22000 up to 22000 This one's 59000 So there's a lot of money to be earned playing these tournaments here. You want to check them out and close tournaments. I'll always have the coolest. Look at that. She got fire on her thing. That's awesome. Clove does a good job. Anyway, so yeah, tournaments is one way you can make money. You can see that already uh, over a million dollars have been awarded, and there's 785,000 upcoming uh, to be given away in tournaments. So that's pretty exciting. So go ahead and get in the tournament and start earning some crypto that way. Okay, number two, buying and selling cards in the marketplace. If you uh, are somebody that likes to flip things and, and buy low and sell high, then there's a lot of opportunity in the marketplace. You can go and look for uh, different cards. And for example, uh, you know these two have been down to 17 and up to 24. So you can look in here and see if someone's selling one low. See, this one's 10 cents lower. You know, nothing too disparaging. But uh, you can keep your eye open in the market. And people try to sell cards, you know, relatively cheap if they need some gems or, or if they need some, some dark energy crystals. So you can go ahead and find some good deals, keep your eyes open, and learn, uh, you know, kind of the prices that everything is going for. And, uh, and you can really sneak in and get some uh, good deals, especially after a season ends. And a lot of players dump a lot of the, the cards, especially these right now, these um, – reward cards are being dumped there's just so many of them right now uh, and that's because you know players haven't gotten them and they haven't leveled them up like they have these cards uh, so there's a lot of opportunity number three this is daily and your season reward loot chests you can get daily quests and in those quests you get a chest or two or depending on how many uh how many you get depends on what level you're at and i'm at my current bronze two so I'm not getting a lot of chess, but my last season rewards, as you can see, you can go in here and uh, play it in a season, got up to silver. And these are the card or the chests that I got to open. 250 dark energy crystals, not bad, like four bucks or something like that. Um, you know, with two rare cards. So this is these dark energy, do you see right here? I mean, that's all. It's like four something in dark energy crystals. And we just saw these are going for about 62 cents. That's another dollar 20 or so. So they're not bad. Um, and of course I could sell those in the marketplace and turn them into crypto right away. So again, playing in your daily quests and getting season rewards. Uh, it's just basically getting rewarded uh, for playing the game. All right, number four, and this is renting out your cards. This is a great way to make some passive uh, income while you have your NFT assets uh, on your on Splinterlands. You can rent them out if you're not playing or not playing often. So you can uh, go in and like you can see here, I've rented this one out. It's Right now it's being rented and I'm making some passive income on these cards that I am renting out. So... I uh, see this one's running out too. So this is a, a good thing. So if you play a lot or don't play a lot, uh, there's something you can do. If you're playing a lot, you can get your reward chest. If you're not playing a lot, then go ahead and throw your cards up for rentals 
and uh, you kind of go in here if you want to rent something, kind of see what the price is, see what level your card is. And uh, you know, like this one right here, it is being rented for 148 deck a day. 148, 113 in this case. So people are paying over 100 deck a day just to rent this card for 24 hours, um, which is awesome. Uh, I don't have a level four, but still. Uh, a great way to go ahead and make some extra money just by going in and renting your cards out that you're not using. Number five, SPS airdrops. Up here, uh, SPS airdrops, you get airdropped points every single day, or your points add up to airdrop uh, tokens every single day of SPS that you can get. And if you stake it, you can claim 64% uh, annual return. And then uh, also having this state uh, means that you will get pack vouchers for Chaos Legion. So that's another huge thing. Uh, and that'll get you into the pre-sale and all be able to buy packs throughout the, uh, the entire Chaos Legion run. How do you get airdrop points? You have basically all your assets on Splinterlands count towards points. So any land that you have, any card packs that you may have, your dark energy crystals, those count all your collection, all your cards, um, any SPT Splinter Talk tokens that you may have, card skins, champion points. I don't have any of those. If you're in a liquidity pool, totems, titles, uh, it all adds up, all the assets add up, and, um, and then you get airdrop points, and you can claim them daily, and then you can stake them, get extra rewards. Uh, it's a great way to earn some crypto just by having assets on the game. So that's it. And in no particular order, the five ways to earn crypto while playing Splinterlands. Uh, you can play in tournaments, buying and selling cards in the marketplace, daily and season reward chests, renting out your cards, and the SPS airdrops. Daily airdrops. There's still about uh, 200 and, I don't know, 50 days left. Plenty of time to get in the airdrop. Plenty of time to get into Splinterlands. New cards coming out, land coming out next year, all kinds of things happening. Get into Splinterlands and check out Splinterlands HQ, us, me and Gank, on Twitch, streaming live, helping players just like you improve their game and get better. You guys, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Hit that like, hit subscribe. Talk to you soon. Peace.